What's going on everybody? Um, about a year ago, I got my Oak Green 964 and the shifter on this car was extremely sloppy, which probably told me the fact that it was probably original and just needed to be swapped out. The problem is, is going from second to third gear always lends itself to being second to fifth gear. Just finding fifth gear and third gear was extremely difficult. Um, and on top of that, I needed to have an exhaust that had a little bit of more oomph to it. So what I did was I reached out to my good buddy Darren at FD Motorsports. And if you guys have seen some of my older videos, you guys will know that I use a lot of his products on my 993 a few years back. And I was always happy with the products that Darren puts out. And so I reached out to Darren and said, hey, look, I need to upgrade some parts on this car. Uh, what can we do? And Darren happily sent me uh, an upgrade system with the short shifter kit and his brand new uh, shift knob system that you can basically screw on different types of shift knobs, which is a huge upgrade because a lot of air cooled cars just don't have a lot of uh, shift knob upgrades. So make sure you guys check out the, the website that shows that. And then also another big upgrade was the FD Sport Exhaust. Now the FD Sport Exhaust sounds very similar to the Fister 3s that I got on my 993 but not as loud, but a little bit different in tone, um, but I still love everything about it. The biggest upgrade on that was the weight savings was, was huge. Um, and then also it was coated in a titanium ceramic coating, which is just a beautiful finish. And everything about this install went really great because of my good friends at Scientific Porsche, Jack and his whole crew came to the rescue to help me install all of this in a very timely manner. If I did this in my garage, it would've just taken me a couple days but thank you guys for getting involved and helping me out in this uh the build of the 964. Uh, without further ado let's go check out the install day and then after i'll give you my insight on what i think about all the products now that it's been on my car for over five months Facing this entire rod right here. Now, Jack, yep. my shifter was super loose. Do you think something was loose here or broken or oh, we'll find it's out. like massively? Well, like first, let's get it all out. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. Okay. See here's the so coupler? Yeah. So, if you look right here, the side of that shift coupler, okay. it's fucking shot. Yeah. The bushings are gone. Yeah. You have there's a nothing, coupler? There's nothing even there. You need to get a coupler. Um, I don't know. I don't think he gave it to you. Okay. It's not part of it normally, because this part, um, well then again, let me look at this. Yeah, it's got a joint. Okay. Universal. So it eliminates that coupler. Okay. Cool. You're good. Like it. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> Darren comes through again. <laughs> So check it out. These two bolts, right? And then that one bolt. And then you basically here, you see those Allen bolts right there? Yeah. Just I'll give you the I'll give you the quarter inch drive. Okay. And just do them by hand. Don't make sure you engage and you don't strip it out. Got it. Um, because if you strip it out then that's a whole other mess. Alright. Yeah, so do this one, right? Mm -hmm. Gonna be in there all the way. Yeah. Break them loose and then take all the four bolts out. Be right back. Don't strip it. Don't strip that. Don't strip it. <laughs> Man, I gotta put some work. 
for it. Huh? <laughs> I think we had a khaki in the house, otherwise that would have been 45 minutes right there. <laughs> so this is a short shifter. And then this is the golden rod. So as you guys can see right here, this is why the shifter was so loose. It's basically nothing there. So this is the FT shift knob. Looking pretty good. I should have probably changed it, but <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> Least the chef. <laughs> Least the <a> chef, bro. <laughs> Where's my knob? <laughs> By the way, these guys are not just watching, they're coaching me, so. <laughs> it's time. wait till this thing is up and running because my shifter was so jacked actually I think I have Stockholm syndrome because I feel like that broken shifter is how the car is supposed to be now <laughs> did you uh, adjust the rod at all or you just no, kind of left it where just, it was we just loosened it all right uh, let me sit let me try yeah. after this is the bent part you gotta look at the straight part that it's pretty much up and you know, straight up and down. See, as long as this is these are tight, but there's there's if there's no uh, tension on this, sometimes when you tighten it to one way, mm -hmm. you you load it up one side and it'd be like really tight. So what are we doing next? Um, we're doing this exhaust. Yeah, Pipes too? I guess. I guess he has now. Yeah. I like the box. It's all boxed in. See that? It's not just a, like a bracket. Hello. Hello, Mike. Turn Hello. Around. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. So Hello, Mike. Oh, there you go. There. Mike <laughs> test. Mike <laughs> test. <laughs> Bunch of juices checking out a tip. <laughs> Check out that tip. These guys. <laughs> We're having too much fun. <laughs> It's up to you. You go, kid. All right. We are removing the heat shield because we want to have the engine breathing, so... <laughs> <laughs>
changed like three of them. Rear blower as in you don't have, right? You got left and right blower in the car. So. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. What a fun day it was at Scientific. Just a bunch of friends hanging out and having a good time. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me how I feel about the FD products that I put on my car now that it's been on for about five plus months. Um, starting with the shifter, absolutely love the shifter. Um, it is notchy, it is precise, and everything about it has really transformed the driving feels of the car for me. And I, I feel like everybody who has a 964 or 993 should absolutely get this done immediately after you buy your car. Another big upgrade on this car was the fact that Darren came out with a system where you can actually change out your shift knobs. So funny enough, in the JDM world, you can change out your shift knobs almost all the time. But in the Porsche world, changing out your shift knob is really difficult because there's not a lot of options for it. So the fact that Darren's come out with a system for that really lends itself to a whole new world of just customizing your car. Also, I want to say that the Sport Exhaust is still one of my favorite upgrades on this car, mainly because it's lightened up the back end a lot. Also, it's added a oomph to the sound that's very beefy and I want to say that when you get up to the higher RPMs and you let off on the gas the crackle snaps and the pops sometimes actually scare me because it is super loud um, and it just kind of catches you off guard now in the past the 993s have come with the Fisters 1, 2, and 3 but for the 964 it is just a single sport exhaust so there's not a lot of options so it's basically easy for you to just upgrade without thinking about what sound you want to go with um, Darren, thank you so much for uh, being a part of this build. I absolutely love your products and I tell everybody about them. So Darren, I want to say a personal thank you for getting involved in my build. Um, it's guys like you that really make the community really great, making great products at a great price that's really accessible is really what's exciting about uh, the stuff that you do. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check out uh, the link below and uh, check out a lot of the great products that you can do to upgrade your air-cooled Porsche. And also a big thank you to Jack and his entire staff at Scientific Porsche in the city of Pasadena. It would have taken me a few days to basically install all the parts on the garage floor and it would have been just a super long process. But with your expertise, it really allowed us to get in and out uh, really quickly and get me to enjoy the car at a much sooner pace. So thank you guys. If you guys are ever looking to do some maintenance on your car or upgrades, make sure you guys check out Jack at Scientific in Pasadena. So. That's it for now. I mean, what I'm going to do is I'll probably have some future videos on some sound bites and just more um, in-depth review of the products. But as of right now, thank you guys for following along and being part of the process. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Peace out.